check, my check. One, two, one, two. <clears throat> Boy, I ain't warmed up my voice all day. is cracking. I don't see the wine glasses heavy enough, okay? 15 seconds until we get started. I'm sorry, 10. I'm a little off. Remember, moderators assume the position. Jasmine, get ready to mind some people because we need some help around here. It's been years. And remember, everything's allegedly. Even my fucking name is allegedly. And y'all better be here in the wine class. What's going on, y'all? What's wrong? Don't tell me we ain't live. Okay, my mic is working. Okay, all right. Jasmine had me scared there for a second. The last show we did three intros and nobody was live. What's going on? Happy Wednesday. Happy White Wine Wednesday. I hope everybody's enjoying their week thus far. It's cold here in South Florida, so I pulled out my little winter August clothes and stuff and you know, just say it, it, it's just cold. It's cold. And, and anybody in Broward County right now knows what the hell I'm talking about, okay? Now, Jasmine, uh, pull up the uh, uh, the chat real quick. Now, listen, guys, a couple of announcements before we get this entire show started. We got a lot of things we're discussing tonight. Terry Manning has graced the platform. Yes, now I know it took us a while to get this interview out. I already talked about it on TashaKLive.com where this interview will be aired, okay? And so uh, we got it here, okay? Not a, look, she's so excited. Taryn is so excited about this interview. She's ready to do a part two. I said, Taryn, let's let, let's, let, let's let this one come out first, okay? You said my mic too loud. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. That was Jasmine's fault. That was not my fault. I cannot help the voice that God gave me, all right? So that interview is freezing in New York. I know, Jay. So that interview is going to be streamed tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on TashaKLive.com. You must have your subscriptions in order to view that interview, okay? A lot, a lot of good stuff in that interview. We talked about the boat. We talked about the, 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 the gold juice, the, the Hollywood, and, you know, her being... A white trash in Hollywood. We talked about Terrence Howard. She dragged him real bad. Real bad. And she kind of threw some shots at Taraji P2. It's a lot in there. It's two hours, over two hours worth of great content. And I'm just honored that she allowed me the space to tell a story because she don't trust nobody out here. She always tell my people out here. Tell my Tasha never too loud. <laughs> she always tell my people out here trying to say she on, you know, she on that, she on dope and stuff like that. And she's like, I don't do dope. Dope is whack. I don't do dope. Okay. And so you'll hear all about it tonight, just like you heard her voice. Okay. Now, tonight's show. Before we get started, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and run through what we're gonna be talking about. Definitely gonna be talking about that video. That uh, uh, Drake, I guess, called himself allowing one of his girlfriends to leak. They could have kept that. They could have kept all of that. Okay? Definitely going to be discussing that. James Wright finally pressing charges on Krishan. All right? Krishan. We didn't know Krishan was a colorist. We're definitely going to discuss that. Okay? Christine Cavallari coming for Diddy. Mm -hmm. Everybody got something to say. Elon Musk, there's another update with that. Macy Gray. Macy Gray is never, ever, ever graced on wine with Tasha K. Okay? She got some Doja Cat things going on. The her and Doja Cat mama in the same boat. Okay? Drezzy, Jacquees, Chris Brown, Deion Sander, uh, Deion Sander, Deandra Sanders. Sorry, I kept reading her first name. Definitely got some exclusive information on that. Leonardo DiCaprio and Tiana Taylor. Turkey Leg Hut owners. Matthew Knowles on Beyonce. Earth, Wind, and Fires. Vern Dean White. And uh, Chris Brown again. Okay, so we got two different, separate things on Chris Brown. I believe so. I'm going to have to go back through this lineup because I sent it earlier today, okay? And so real quick, before we get into these topics and we roll these trailers and stuff like that, who has their tickets? We just unveiled a full tour 
We got two more cities to add. We're trying to work that out for our August shows. I'm doing two to three shows a month to start off this year. Next year, it'll be way more than that, but I'm trying to get my feet wet in this, okay? Who has been to TashaKOnStage.com and gotten their tickets? Let's go through what's on sale right now. Of course, Naples, Florida is still on sale. Atlanta, Georgia is on sale. We're actually going to add a second show because that one is about to sell out. We just uh, released that one last week, and it's already almost gone, okay? So y'all need to hurry up and get them tickets because I haven't quite decided whether I was going to do a second show because it is my birthday on March 10th. Okay, let me go ahead and pull up this website with you, TashaKOnStage.com. This is going to be the official tour website. Anytime you need anything, you can access it through the link tree that the moderators are passing. Or you could just visit TashaKOnStage.com and it'll give you all the cities. So we got Naples, Florida, Atlanta, Georgia, Indianapolis, Indiana. Now, I know Chicago tripping, but it's only two hours away. Don't do me like that. No, don't do me like that. Old Block ain't gave me. I, I got to check in before I get to Chicago, and I ain't got nobody to check in with because they all in jail or, or done passed on. They did. So I don't know what I'm going to do to get into Chicago, okay? Baltimore, Maryland is coming soon. Virginia Beach is now active on Tasha K on stage.com. We just released Virginia Beach this morning on, is it Mother's Day? May 12th? I think it's Mother's Day. Yeah, so we're doing a Mother's Day show. I'm working on Mother's Day as a mother. My child going to disown me, Lord Jesus, okay? Charlotte, North Carolina is live. Who else? Tampa, Florida is live on TashaKOnStage.com. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is live. Riley, North Carolina is live. Orlando, Florida. And we got two more cities that we're adding. And then Houston we're going to close out the year with. It's here, Houston. Y'all calm down. I told them to cancel the Austin uh, 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 show that they had me booked for because I'm not stepping over that gun line until I go to Houston first okay and we're doing the big show in Houston it's gonna be a huge venue thousands of people so y'all y'all talking I said, come now do you want wine on weekend where we got all these festivities painting sips after parties day parties other creators on stage including me and Teddy or do you just want me to come to your city and a, in, in a little comedy club and just be gone you know it's up to y'all it's up to y'all but I know y'all want it. Y'all want it like Miami got it last year, okay? And we're going to do that. So just give us time, and it's going to be around Halloween, so you'll get to come dress as your favorite character, Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, El Paso, Austin. All right? Hell, we even take uh, 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 New Orleans. How far are y'all? Like Baton Rouge from, from Texas. We'll take all the New Orleans people, Arizona too. Anybody up there, out there, we take you, okay? So y'all just stay tuned for that. Make sure you are subscribed to TashaKOnStage.com or use the link tree, and you'll get all the notifications on what cities we're hitting. Please get these fast. These are small venues, okay? We're talking about 150, 150 to 200 people, okay? These are not where you can wait the same day and get these, okay? So please, Naples, Florida, Fort Myers, where y'all at? Where are y'all at? These tickets are still on sale. Let's go. Okay? Now, before we go ahead and get into this wine, we definitely got to show you what's coming up on TashaKLive.com, especially after this segment at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hold that thought, okay? After this break, we got Elon Musk, Tiana Taylor, Leonardo DiCaprio, Matthew Knowles, Macy Gray, and uh, Jasmine, don't spell her name wrong. Veron, that's not her name, but it's okay. It's okay, Jasmine. It's Jasmine got, oh, yeah, that, that's a man. Damn, Bernadine. I thought it said Bernadine. I was like, who is Bernadine? Who grandmama up here? And much, much more coming up, okay? We got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means boldly raise a glass to hold that thought. Stay right here. We'll be right back after these commercials. Let's go. Go ahead. We back already. We're going to try this one more time. <laughs> go ahead, Jack. Jasmine, what you do to the file? We just gonna go ahead and go, go ahead, go ahead. I want go. the night for me and you 
So call me a baby and let me do it to you. So what happened over time was that um, so much rejection. So like for every role that you get, you also get 50 rejections, right? I had a, like a, a tight group of girlfriends, which I'm very proud of. Like my friends from 13 to about say 35 or 36, like we rolled pretty, pretty deep. And um, they started all talking crap about me one night when I was off doing a movie and they said, we just don't get it. Like, how did she make it? Like, she's not even pretty. This is a real conversation that they had. I've been marginalized in this trailer park piece of garbage. And it's like, wow, it's so funny because I've been accepted into Juilliard on a full ride ballet scholarship. I've traveled the world five times. I'm not white trash is a, the gold juicy elixir, the atonement, live forever, um, that I could have whatever I wanted. And I said, nothing in my life's come that easy for me. I'm not gonna drink some juice and then suddenly I have everything I've ever wanted. You don't treat people very well all the time on set. You're very cerebral, very different, very hard to like even navigate around. Um, you've been very blessed. Like, what are you doing right now? Are you hiding something? Are you guilty about something? Are you making sure everyone's looking over there so they don't look over here, Terrence? I'll say it to his face, he knows how I feel. I asked him to pay me, I was never paid for that movie. Hustle and flow. All right, winos, if you enjoyed shows like this and would like to see more with me live on stage, then be sure to join me in Naples, Florida, March 3rd at the Off The Hook Comedy Club and March 10th in Atlanta, Georgia at the Uptown Comedy Corner. Tickets on sale right now, link in the description box as well as in the bio. And don't you worry, I'm bringing the wine and Teddy, damn it, okay? See y'all soon. <laughs> Okay, who ready? Who? Oh, I thought my mic was off again. I was like, I'm notorious to turn it off. I only want y'all to hear my side conversations and stuff like that because it's, it's heavy. It's thick over here. If I had a fly on the wall, if Elon Musk invented a fly on the wall that could record, I'm sure he's got something going for the military right now. They'll be able to hear everything that's going down in here. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It'll be, woo -hoo -hoo, it gets hot behind the scenes here, okay? All right, so uh, our world god has a message for you guys again. You know, last week um, he's putting chips in people's brains and controlling movement, you know, so they're able to, to walk by controlling a keyboard or a computer and the computer telling their legs to make them walk, you know, and he's going to be installing that probably. They're going to start with the U.S., uh, uh, government, and the government's going to sell it to private prisons, and they're going to be telling a lot of prisoners and stuff like that to sit your fucking ass down. Now, there's been a major update. He, he said Mr. Beast is not innovative enough. So, y'all, I don't know if y'all know who Mr. Beast is. Mr. Beast, that's his name, right, Jasmine? Mr. Beast be making people see. So, he give blind people the ability to see. So, his whole platform is centered around donating eyesight and stuff. He's doing some really big stuff, really good stuff as a white guy around here, okay? But Elon Musk didn't think that was great enough. He said that we need something just a little bit more powerful. So let's let's show you right now. The, the, the first two applications. All right. So I thought this humans, video had um, sound, but it didn't. It's fine. Vision. Even if okay. someone has never had vision ever, uh, we, we believe they can. They, they can. We can still restore vision. The visual part of the cortex is still still there. I mean, as miraculous as it may sound. Uh, we're confident that it is possible to restore full body functionality to someone who has a severed spinal cord. Roll that one more time. One more time. The, the, the first two applications we're going to aim for in humans um, are restoring uh, vision. Even if someone has never had vision ever, uh, we're, we believe they can, they, they can, we can still restore vision. The visual part of the cortex is still, still <clears throat> there. I mean, as miraculous as it may sound, uh, we're confident that it is possible to restore full body functionality to someone who has a severed spinal cord. Confident that it is possible, okay, to help somebody with a severed spinal cord who also can't see to walk and see again. Now, of course, all of this is done through putting a chip in the front of your head and in the brain, okay? That chip is going to be backing data up to these massive data servers and institutions and plantations that they got, because they got data plantations. I don't know if y'all know about that. Oh, I be on the science stuff, I just be looking. I know a few black people that's got contracts and they got data center 
land plantations. They really do. Okay, so everything that we're doing, being backed up somewhere in North Carolina, out in the desert, Texas, you know what I'm saying, these places we can't go. Yeah, and so it's going to be mighty funny that snitching has not elevated because they ain't got to ask you no more. All they got to do is just pull up the computer and go and look at what you saw. <laughs> so you ain't got to worry about it no more. The detectives going to come in because anybody, they're going to start with the prisoners first. I'm trying to tell you, they're going to start with the disabled people, and then they're going to start with the prisoners, okay? Because once you become property of the state by any type of felony whatsoever, especially if you've done a black violent crime, they're going to install it right here, right? And it's going to be a government program, and they're going to fund the private prisons. These private prisons are going to make tons of money by putting these little chips in. And so when, you, when they release you, they're going to be able to log in and see what you see. Do you see what I see? That song really scared me when I was a kid. It really did. I don't know who else got scared when they heard that song on the movie. Do you see what I see? So my Uncle Kirk, them, you know what I'm saying, James, all them niggas, you know what I'm saying, that, listen, line is over. There's no more lies being told. Where did you go? Oh, don't worry. We're going to log in and see. What did you see? Who shot you? Ain't going to be no more crimes. The cameras are now in the heads. Yeah. And when they want to sit you down, like I said, control, all delete, bitch, sit down. <laughs> Matter of fact, they ain't got to worry about nobody escaping the prisons no more. Back your ass on up. Wait, where are you going, Mike? Mike, where the hell are you going? Your ass back here talking about climbing a gate. They're going to unclimb. You're going to be unclimbing the gate because you don't lost every function of your damn body. Y'all better, better leave these people alone. Y'all better leave these, these white folks alone. They say he was born in Africa, too. You know, he's South African. They're trying to say the motherland gave him to us. He's, he's Adam. Moving on. That's just white wine news, okay? Speaking of, it ain't even no white wine news. See, I got to show my sister some love. First of all, that haircut looks amazing, okay? Absolutely amazing. But Tiana Taylor, I love it when you know folks, especially, you know, try to bring you down. And you know, niggas try to do that. I can't say the whole word. Y'all know I'm censored over here on YouTube. That's why I go on over to TashKLive.com and call everybody by their name. Everybody, okay? Now, um, you know, lately he been out here trying to shame her because she, you know, she's been make, she's been wearing the pants in the family, okay? She wears the boxers. Her dick is bigger, you know? And so there was a clip going around of her. Do we have it on set? Because I, I just want to put this out here as an exclusive. Because I think people got it twisted now, okay? There's a lot of actresses out here in Hollywood that's real mad, that's real upset, okay? They tried to say, oh, you know, Tiana Taylor was out shooting a movie, a Leonardo DiCaprio movie. Just sit on that for a second. Just sit on that. I mean, she looked good, though. She looks good, you know? Especially after the husband tried to come out here and say she had no lights, she had no water, she couldn't pay her bills and nothing like that, and TMZ them tried to shame her and everything like that. Yeah, after she been paying bills, paying bills for his holes too, because he couldn't work. I'm talking about in men. <sighs> anyway. But exclusive, this her movie. She's the star. He's co-starring. She been in her bag. Instead of out here, she's, she's left the threesomes alone. She's left out here trying to out her husband in the bedroom. Because, you know, it's a competition in there. It ain't really is. Especially if you're a man and you ain't got no job. And they come to you with the wife and the wife getting all the women because she can afford to pay for them. When they prostitutes, y'all take them. She decided to, to use her money that she made from her black love series because she really wasn't in love to invest in some acting classes. And so she's the lead actress and he's co-starring. So she's the one to watch. Congratulations to our sister, okay? We'll see her on that Oscar stage. I hope so. I really do. Let's go. They don't never give no, no props to, to nothing like this. You know what I'm saying? They don't never do that. And she, she got her bag, by, by the way. It wasn't no $200,000 or $50,000. She got a bag. Seven figure bag, okay? Moving on, congratulations. I love the little positivity news. 
Okay, now, speaking of snitching, he ain't even got no Neuralink out here, and he out here snitching. See, that's why Beyonce and them, I don't never see him with the family. They'll put him in the VIP section, but Beyonce don't never be nowhere with his... <sighs> I guess he just really wanted to be L.A. Reed, and it didn't work that way. Okay, so after Jay-Z took to the Grammys, and we talked about the Grammys on TashaKLive.com on Monday... All right. Very, very informing and entertaining show. Y'all said y'all enjoyed it. We'll try to do more reviews around here, but it was just such a show. I had to really, really get into that. But, um, you know, Jay-Z uh, took the uh, Global Abusers Award. Yeah, he was honored uh, and given an award in honor of a man who has beat every black woman he's been with to get to the top. So Jay-Z decided to use the award to beat the Grammys down because it's just passing along all that energy, just a beating energy, beats by Dre, beating all these asses, and Jay-Z is tired of y'all beating his wife ass. And by the way, y'all was right. She is looking a bit bleached. She, I was looking at her scalp, I was like, she got some vitiligo going on, or she getting what? what? What's the name of them shots, Jasmine? Them shots that make you light skin. There's a shot now you can take to make you light skin. They know what I'm talking about. They'll be in the comments, they'll, they'll, they'll say something about it. But he decided to use his award to give back to his wife and try to uplift the woman since Dre has been beating him down. And in the midst of that, well, it was a good speech. I just feel like, why does Beyonce have to have everything? You know, her daddy out here, you know, he, he just telling it all. And so I was very shocked to hear what he had to say. So let's, let's hear what Matthew had to say, because you know he's going to get his two cents in, because Jay-Z, regardless of when or what age he met his 19-year-old daughter and he was in his 30s, I'm her daddy. Go. If Beyonce were overlooked um, time after time after time for everything, I get it. But she's won 32, and really, as you say, 36 awards. So it's not that she's been overlooked. So why do you think that this one category is where they're disrespecting her? People don't know the process. Your record label can only appoint one person in a category. So that means her record label, I'm gonna call you out, Columbia Records. Her record label has never put, really put her in that category for consideration. But she's been nominated. And I guess that's the, the problem, Matthew, is that people feel like they nominate her for Album of the Year, but then they give it to... Back up just a little bit, Jasmine. Someone who... See, this, see, anybody that had a problem with Nikki never being honored and stuff, back up just a little bit. Because Matthew, this is the reason why they don't never invite his to the cookout. Him and Tina both got, they talk too much. That's why they didn't get along. Both of them was talking during the marriage, cussing each other out. Somebody got to shut up. So she out here defending her daughter's bleached skin, allegedly. Talking about the alleged bleached skin. And he out here defending why his daughter is not number one, although he said that her light skin privilege automatically made her number one, not her talent. Go, Matthew, tell it one person in a category. So that means her record label, I'm gonna call you out Columbia Records. Her record label has never put, really put her in that category for consideration. But she's been nominated. And I guess that's the, the problem, Matthew, is that people feel like they nominate her for Album of the Year, but then they give it to someone who, in the eyes of a lot of fans, had an inferior album. And that's the question is like, why are they singling her out in that category? Well, again, when you have, uh, going back to Adele and Beyonce on the same record label, the record label can only support one of those artists. Oh, pop, 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 pop. Keyword, support. Keyword, Columbia. Keyword, her record label didn't do enough. Keep going. Do you think that the label, which has made a fortune off Beyonce, why would they choose Adele over, over your daughter? Well, there's a lot of reasons. I mean, there's a financial reason. Maybe Adele sold more records uh, worldwide. I don't know these answers. But these are some of the thought processes that they go through. Maybe 
uh, you say, you know, Beyonce has her success. Here's an opportunity to push Adele, so let's push her. So this isn't so much the Grammys as it is the label, according to you. It's a combination of all, but it starts with the label. Again, guys, I've been 14 years in those rooms putting the label. I know exactly how this works. We spend a whole, it's a three-day process. We spend a whole day listening to a minute of a song and saying, that's pop. And then <laughs> pop will listen and they say, oh, that's R&B. That's a big deal, the genre of the music. And again, there comes a point in the music industry is the whiting of America. <laughs> Did y'all get it? Y'all didn't get it. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Y'all didn't get it. All right, let me break it down for you. So he blames, you can put the comments down now. He blames the record label. Reason why Matthew, and this is allegedly, used to be a member of the Grammy board. And so... <clears throat> When you're a member of the Grammy board, you know things that most people wouldn't know. Like the things that Nikki and Drake and them have been trying to tell us for years. And so he's blaming her record label for not doing enough work to get her album of the year. They chose Adele over her. And he said maybe because Adele sold more. Adele's, I guarantee you, Adele's uh, 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 deal is much different than Beyonce's because Beyonce has been out here a long time. A long time. So much so, she doesn't even have to release a record under Columbia. She can bypass Columbia and just post it to her website. She ain't got to put it on no streaming platforms, make her money. She ain't got to split her royalties and have over 1 billion uh, streams and get 40,000. But every damn download, if it's 2 million users in the song a dollar because I done bought it, it's a dollar, it's 2 million dollars. But what he's actually saying and confirming is that Columbia didn't do enough, meaning they didn't pay enough. It's her record label's fault. So which means when you got somebody high selling like Taylor Swift who made more money than Beyonce on her tour, her record label has a little bit more funds allocated to put in alleged Grammy member board pockets. And he knows because he used his daughter's talent, her light skinnedness and money and connections by lobbying for her to ensure that she would always be number one. But then she fired him and hired Jay-Z, and now Jay-Z out here can't do nobody. But in honor of the Abusers Award, uh, under Dr. Dre's name, Beat by Dre's, he's just going to say, why? Why not my wife? You got to pay that money. If I was a Grammy board member, too, I'd be like, how, 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 how much we talking? How much you really want it? She got the most Grammys out of everybody, living and dead. How much do you really want it? But we done gave her a few at discount. You want the big one? You got to give a ta Taylor. They said, damn, Taylor Swift gave her damn uh, uh, dancers and everybody on her team, right? A hundred thousand dollar bonus. We didn't hear none of Beyonce dancers saying that because half her dancers, they, they, you know, she take anybody at this point. They out of shape, shit like that. I just, I just a lot going on in that tour. But <laughs> I'm just saying, her daddy talked too much. Told him, Tina, I do know why they are not together because he wanted somebody quiet, and all his mistresses have been quiet. The entire time. But Tina, she gonna talk, she gonna tell it, she is going to bat for her daughter. And Matthew would too, if she would only just put him on the payroll and he can get her, basically saying he can get her the album of the year, had she would have not fired him for her other daddy, Jay-Z. 
And I'm like, why Beyonce can't say nothing? What's wrong with her mouth? Why she can't talk? I mean, we know she barely can write, but why she can't talk? Like, come on. Moving on. Moving on. Why you over there bowing your head, Jasmine? What's wrong with you? Nobody off limits over here. Macy Gray. Now, these kids grown, right? Now, I was supposed to put Doja Cat up here with her mama and brother, okay? I, I somehow was off during that story, but this is very similar. So apparently, these kids today don't lost Jen, Jen is the don't lost their everlasting damn mind around here, okay? So apparently, and I, I find this hard to believe, because I'm going to be honest with you, I'm the type of parent, don't be surprised, y'all may read about me on TMZ for whooping a child's ass. I don't believe in that gentle parenting shit. And you're not going to talk shit. And you're not going to put your hands on me. Especially when I take care of your pissy tail ass. It's not going down. Not in my house. Stand outside the door and say what you got to say. Outside. Off the yard. In the street. Take off my clothes. Put down my phone. Now they want us to believe somehow that Macy Gray's kids done whooped her ass. I just, I, I just don't believe I saw Macy Gray in training day. I seen her in training day. She does not give me allowing children to whoop her. Don't she, Teddy? Does she look like the woman to allow some children to whoop her? Macy, I know you ain't going out like that. All you got to do is call me. I keep my sneakers on. Look, I, I keep them on. I'm ready all the time, especially for a smart mouth ass child. I'm ready. Now, let me read on this little part, okay? Because last week, now we understand in Doja Cat's family, her mama white. <laughs> and so her brother apparently beat her up, and the mom was like, he, he beat my daughter up. Doja said, I got this. He was only beating my ass because I told him about me coming on the red carpet, you know, with no panties on and unshaved and a bush down there that was musty as Hold on for a second. It's white people. Like I said, that's white people shit. It ain't nothing wrong with white people shit. Okay, so Macy Gray. Hold on for a second. Let me go and get this here. All right. Now, apparently Macy Gray's daughter files a restraining order against the brother, claims he threatened to threaten her and hit their uh, uh, old famous mom. Okay? So, according to the Jasmine brand, Macy Gray's daughter, uh, Aunt Anasia Hines, filed a restraining order against her brother, Tracy Melvin Hines, after he allegedly threatened her and hit their famous mom. Tracy got into a physical altercation. Now, this is all according to the daughter, okay? I don't know if Macy got her ass whooped, okay? Now, listen, she like I said, I saw her in training day. Uh, she got into a physical altercation with my mom. The 29-year-old claimed in a Los Angeles file on Wednesday says page six. He followed her, harassed her, as he always does when he drinks. Ana Anasia claimed in the court docs that her boyfriend tried to intervene during the dispute, but Tracy, 28, allegedly retaliated by striking him as well. So, girl, you got a boyfriend. He trying to fight for your mama. He got his ass whooped too. Damn. So... Now, Anasia claimed her younger brother continued, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, while we waited for the cops to come, while he continued to bang on the doors in our rooms looking for confrontation, she further alleged, uh, claimed that her younger brother continued to harass his relatives and at one point pushed her. Macy hadn't spoken out publicly about this filing, but hopefully the family can get through this. It's unknown if Tracy uh, was charged. Okay, and so I guess Tracy's a brother, but I don't believe. Let me see what y'all talking about in the car. You believe Macy Gray got her ass with my son and didn't do anything? Well, you say yes, Jeff. Why do you believe that? So, so you believe her, she just gonna stand there and let her son just beat the out of her and not do nothing? No, Jazz. No, Jazz. No, Jasmine. No, Jasmine. Talking about she. We gonna have to get Jasmine a mic in the background. She be back here talking mad shit. I don't believe for one second Macy let any of them nasty ass children put her head. No. Talking about you know them drunks be strong. They do have a superhuman. That's <laughs> they do. It just sounds like mental health. I just I I don't know. I don't know. And you know, in order for anything to happen, they gonna have Macy gonna have to come forward and say that my son. 
How she say it? My son whoop my ass. <laughs> yeah, I just no. Uh uh. Uh uh. No, she played a whole gangster in training day. She don't give me that type of energy. I think that was the last movie, too, that she did. Okay, moving on. Before we move on, okay, we got more topics coming up. Krishan Rock. Yeah, y'all sent me the videos of her calling some dark-skinned chicks. Maybe I, We're going to talk about that, okay? Calling out some dark-skinned chicks. We're definitely going to be discussing uh, James Wright finally uh, pressing charges, all right? Uh, Christina Cavallari, right? She's uh, alleging Diddy did some things to her. Definitely going to be talking about Drezzy and, and Chris Brown, as well as Tyrese and who else? And Drake. Could have kept all that. Could have kept none of that, okay? All that and more coming up, okay? After this break, we got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means Bully raise a glass to hold that thought, okay? We'll be right back. Let's go. I want the night for me and you. So come here, baby, and let me do it to you. So what happened over time was that um, so much rejection. So like for every role that you get, you also get 50 rejections, right? I had a, like a, a tight group of girlfriends, which I'm very proud of. Like my friends from 13 to about, say, 35 or 36, like we rolled pretty, pretty deep. And um, they started all talking crap about me one night when I was off doing a movie and they said, we just don't get it. Like, how did she make it? Like, she's not even pretty. This is a real conversation that they had. I've been marginalized in this trailer park piece of garbage. And it's like, wow, it's so funny because I've been accepted into Juilliard on a full ride ballet scholarship. I've traveled the world five times. I'm not white trash. Is a, the gold juicy elixir, the atonement, live forever, um, that I could have whatever I wanted. And I said, Nothing in my life's come that easy for me. I'm not gonna drink some juice and then suddenly I have everything I've ever wanted. You don't treat people very well all the time on set. You're very cerebral, very different, very hard to like even navigate around. Um, you've been very blessed. Like, what are you doing right now? Are you hiding something? Are you guilty about something? Are you making sure everyone's looking over there so they don't look over here, Terrence? I'll say it to his face, he knows how I feel. I asked him to pay me. I was never paid for that movie. Hustle and flow. If you enjoyed shows like this and would like to see more with me live on stage, then be sure to join me in Naples, Florida, March 3rd at the Off the Hook Comedy Club and March 10th in Atlanta, Georgia at the Uptown Comedy Corner. Tickets on sale right now. Link in the description box as well as in the bio. And don't you worry, I'm bringing the wine and patty, damn it, okay? See y'all soon. <laughs> All right, and we're back. All right, now who's had a chance to get to our website, TashaKOnStage.com, to purchase your tickets because we are in your city, okay? Now let me make sure I get y'all these cities right now. All right, we got Naples, Florida. Y'all need to get them tickets before they go. Atlanta, Georgia, we are thinking about adding a second show because that one's always sold out in like less than a week. All right, Indianapolis, Indiana. Baltimore, I saw y'all in the comments though talking about Indiana, Indianapolis got their tickets. I hope it ain't cold up there when I get up there, okay? Listen, we also got Virginia Beach. We'll be there on Mother's Day. Y'all make sure y'all get them tickets. Charlotte, North Carolina, Tampa, Florida, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Raleigh, North Carolina, Orlando, Florida, and so, and we got more cities added, okay? So y'all just be patient with me. I told them to slow roll me. They wanted to book me out every weekend. I said, no, 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 no. I got winos over here that need me, and I got to get my feet wet first, okay? And besides, I got to build my cardio up for these damn shows and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I'm standing up and everything. I'm getting ready for y'all. Y'all see it going down on TashaKLive.com. Who's going to be on TashaKLive.com for this Tara Manor interview that's going to air at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight, okay? She exposed everything. The Gold Juice, The Boat, Terrence Howard, Taraji P., her own self. There's a lot going on in that interview. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all make sure y'all have y'all subscriptions on deck, TashaKLive.com, to see that interview, and there's more content to come, all right? So let's go ahead and uh, uh, get started. Now, my mama was a little upset with me. Don't, don't. I was shocked when I saw it. 
Do you have, you, you got the before, no, 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 Jack, I asked you for a before and after. See, I wanted the old video, uh, uh, Vern Dean White. Now, this is Earth, Wind, and Fire's Vern Dean White, okay? He was on the red carpet, and a lot of people didn't quite recognize who he was, especially if you grew up masturbating to his ass. Let's go. Obviously, we have a legend in our presence. We're so happy to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> on the weekends. I love that. Victoria Monet. Yes. yes. And she was the one, my granddaughter turned me on to Victoria. Pause, 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 pause. Now his his daughter was wrong for that. She could have did like this. <laughs> Keep going. Wow. And yes. what are your thoughts on her now? Oh, she's she's the one. Wow. And she has an, an incredible career. She'll end up being an icon, right? She'll be and it's the first this is the first artist that's been discovered for you all. Yeah. You know what I mean? You all discovered her. Absolutely. You know, because the other people like all of us, we've been here, but right. this is your artist. Come on. She belongs to you guys. Yes. yes. We're grateful. Yes, because we haven't had it. Okay, we haven't had it in a while. And we haven't had a, a, an R&B album pure in 15 years. Yes. So this is good for you all to hear yes. a real album for a change. Yes. Instead of the singles, right? You yes. know, no sampling, just it's music. It's quality music. That's right. It's quality. That's right. And you understand that. That's Thank right. you so much. Thank we you. appreciate you. Thank now, you. Now, now, I, I play. I showed that video to my mama. She did not believe that it was Vern Dean, the lead singer, uh, uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. She didn't believe it. I said, "Why? Because you, you, you play." <laughs> I know a lot of y'all in the comments like, "Uh, uh, uh, uh." I'm just upset that I get it. He got a receding hairline, but could somebody at least call Sexy Red's uh, lace front installer to just put him a lace around the edges? <laughs> Because somebody have done that. I mean, his granddaughter. I get that she biracial. Shit, she didn't understand that. That let's just. It's like a hat. Bring the hat for. Who's there one more time, John? Play the video. Obviously, we have a legend in our presence. We're so happy. To talk Earth, Wind, and Fire streams about to go <laughs> on up. the weekends. I love that Victoria Monet. Yes. Yes. And she was the one. My granddaughter turned Damn. me on to Victoria. Paul, 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 Paul. Now, 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 now. Bring the comments up. Bring the comments up. Because I know y'all old heads in here. Bring the comments up. I know y'all old heads in here. Now. Nah. <laughs> y'all say a little nice. Nah. <laughs> oh, this this is Verdeen White from Earth, Wind, and Fire. One of the biggest, most richest black groups in the world. This man got money. Okay. Don't play with him. Don't play with his pockets like that. I don't know why he ain't allocating none. To a lace front installer, what do y'all call them? Tell me, he need a grip wig. Y'all hell, like for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just upset that they let him hit that uh, that red carpet like that. Uh, and and nobody and nobody told him. And shame on y'all because you know what? So much stuff is coming out in Hollywood. You know, I saw Monique's uh, some of her interview on Club Shay Shay. Shout out to Club Shay Shay. He got them all down there. You know, with nothing to lose, just talking, just talking, just talking, just talking. And you know it's a it's a lot of stuff coming out of Hollywood. Like y'all didn't know that he was. Y'all out here playing with your little cats. <laughs> Just yeah, and didn't even know he wasn't thinking about you, bitches. All of a sudden, just like when R. Kelly was singing "12 Play," age ain't nothing but a now he wasn't talking to us. He wasn't talking to none of our grown old asses. You had to be 14 and under. And in this one, you had to have hair on your ball. You see how they play with us? You see how they play with us? So y'all thought he was straight the entire time. Meanwhile, y'all like him saying Johnny Gill ain't straight. He got to take a lot of tech to test just to get pussy these days. Let me, man. I don't care nothing. I'm be honest, I don't care nothing about Johnny Gill not being straight or nothing. They put on that red dress and slip on your high heat. I, that that sounds like a straight man singing to me. Now, R. Kelly, when I dissect them words, them for children. I can't take it. We have to be careful because this is this is spirit singing to our souls, and we at least thought. He was singing us. And I know my grandma would be rolling over her grave like, what the? P <laughs> and be careful. I was at the Usher residency some months back. And um, it was a lot of men in that concert. 
that was more excited than the women that they brought. I'm way in the back. Nose bleed. Some pop off on the first side of the building, right near the exit. And I happen to have couples in front of me. I'm like, oh, okay. I, I didn't know I could ask Shaq to come. You know? I said, I, I, said we, we, I could have. Usher put real strippers on the stage. They had stretch marks and stomachs was, I like it. They, the stripper stomachs look like mine. They was real from Atlanta. Right. So I'll be stunning y'all when y'all talking about my stomach at all. I have never had a man ever in the 42 years of my life ever mention my stomach. Only women, and I don't screw women. I ain't screwing. So if a woman trying to tell me, suck it in, I ain't never had a man ever complain. They in my DM right now. People's husbands and all. Oh, you thick. Oh, you can I rub it? No, you can't. I'm sorry. This is shakes. This is shakes. They don't care nothing about that. Only women that are competing with other women care about stuff like that, okay? I'm out here giving them, the men what they want, not other women. And that's because y'all, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Y'all like women, y'all like women, but I don't. Not pulling up no stomach. Maybe y'all just don't want to lift up no stomach to eat no cat. Men don't care. At all. And that's why half of the women I hear, more than half I hear with flat stomachs, you can't find a man. Ask Bernice Burgos, where's her? That baby, that 21-year-old won't come out nowhere near to claim her. Or her daughter that he probably hit into. Listen. <sighs> okay. I was at that Usher concert, and there was a lot of men getting excited. And there was one in front of me. And his girl, you know, they, he, they came in, they were hugged him, he was kissing and everything. He's a black couple. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, cool. So, you know, when... Before I stood up and the women stood up, the man stood up. He's like, oh, Usher! And he was, you know, he was, his hips was. <laughs> and the girl was just like. And he was, he had the camera. Usher! I was like, this your man, child. There was a lot of men down there just. And I said, you know, you know, they were saying back in the day, a few years ago, that Usher, there was two men that filed lawsuits against Usher in a, ba in, a, in a bathhouse, you know? And so a lot of them have these stars have to be able to appeal to both men and women. You gotta make the music so good, so good that the men would wanna screw you and they bitches to the music. So, y'all better be careful out here, okay? Vern Dean, Shout out to Vern Dean, but please, his daughter, man, she could have at least, I know she don't know nothing about no hair, she just used jail. Listen, we got to get Sexy Red's wig installer down there. She put some low. Try to cover up all them craters in that baby skin. Moving on. Now, Krishan, 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 you dirty bitch. We're going to start with the, the colorism video first so that you know there's a lot of people upset on on instagram you know so i told you her followers are following i've never seen anybody they ain't even unfollow diddy diddy still got 20 million and he out here <laughs> making them wearing white nails and take punches in the chest over some yeah yeah uh-huh taking perks and beating they allegedly listen uh, I've never seen followers fall, uh, fall this fast, okay? So she went from 5.4, now she's at 5 million, almost to 4.9. They are steadily declining. This happened because, you know, a lot of those followers came out of sympathy. Sympathy, payola, th the victim mentality is the new clout. That's what this is, okay? And so they was feeling sorry for her when Blue was allegedly whooping her ass, but turns out it was really her. That's what James Wright is mad about. Put him up under this, too. Yeah, so we, we see her. She's, she's knocking him out big. Big. It don't matter. And she's little, too. Just like Kevin Hart. It's always little people. Always trying to... 
trying to buck up on somebody. Just sit your ass down. Anyway, so here's a video out here. I guess maybe she got upset with a fan, you know, because they're upset with her that they followed her, you know, supported her, prayed for her, prayed for the Hills Have Eyes baby, all of that. And she out here on her, uh, on everything but music. You got to be a wino to understand what I'm saying there. Let's go. You're both ugly as shit with a fat ass nose. You don't even, and I know you don't like your complexion. Because you look like one of them type of bitches. But then it continues and it's by the grace. Because I What'd you say? No, she got church playing playing. <laughs> we ain't going to play it one more time because she cussing too much. I'm trying to keep my body sensation over here. Listen. Yeah, so apparently she's saying that the girl don't like her complexion. I don't think Krishan likes her complexion either. Now, this ain't got nothing to do with me. Y'all can call me blacky, monkey. Y'all can do whatever you got to do, okay? That does not interrupt the dick that I'm getting three, four times a week. <laughs> call me what you want to call me. It don't interrupt or stop nothing I got going on over here, okay? So, yeah, you can hit back all you want. But I'm just saying, it's mighty funny. Because I'm going to be honest with you. And I know there's a lot of people that get tattoos and stuff like that. I get it. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I got one tattoo, and it, it was an accident. So I had to fix it and put my husband's name over it because I put another name on it. So listen, um, and I can't get rid of it. And I think black people got some of the most beautiful skin. And when you put tattoos on it, it's kind of like when we get, you know, dark marks in our face. It looks really bad and stuff like that. That's how I feel tattoos look. But a lot of people like them. They like that, that grungy, you know, Kanye West homeless clothes look, you know. Krishan is one of them. She looks real dirty. We know she nasty. We've seen the panties, the crust in the panties. We've had people on our show that have showed me videos of her just leaving her nasty, crusty, panties everywhere y'all talking about oh my god how dare you talk about a woman like that why is her panties on the kitchen counter you'll never see as much as she on live you'll never see her washing her hands to pick up that baby or fix food or nothing she continues to ink her body up halfway under the influence if not all the way she ain't checked the needles or the person putting the needles on her do not play with And that's why Blueface is the only one out here willing to hit her. Have you ever noticed that? If Krishan was so beautiful, during that entire time she was away from Blue and was moving on, why she didn't move on? Why wasn't there any men out here that was willing to say they hit that? Maybe DJ Academics was right and said, well, that tooth where it's missing, that stank. We know the ass, thank you. We know that much. We know that much. But I'm just saying, maybe but for you to come for somebody's skin complexion and you don't like your own because you're always covering it up with a dirty, crusty mouth, man, because I seen them pictures. It was crust all over the top lip. <sighs> Krishan, 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 baby girl. Baby girl, I heard you leaving. I heard that you're taking a trip out of the United States of America because CPS is probably going to remove that baby and put it in West Virginia where it belongs with your sister, China, while you answer for these charges of assaulting this man. See, you're, 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 you're so low as a person. You're mad that you would be missing a tooth. That you want everybody who come in contact to be missing that same too, but they ain't broke like you. And your man. And your man. So James Wright finally done muscled up the courage, okay? You know, lost a couple pounds to take his ass on down there to file. Uh, not only uh, uh, charges against uh, Krishan, but also a civil lawsuit for knocking his teeth out. He got them fixed because he got to sing and he got to eat. So, um, once he was able to heal both and his, uh, his appetite has restored, 
by use of his new tooth, he decided to do what we been told him to do, but he didn't listen. He just didn't want to lose his job with Tamar because Tamar said she saw herself in this dirty bitch. And now we understand why she over there doing the same thing Krishan doing to that personal injury attorney, okay? Have you been hit by a tractor trailer? Have you been eaten by a bell? <laughs> Please call me. <laughs> We're going to take your case all the way to court. Matter of fact, all we got to do is hit the insurance. We're going to keep 80%. You're going to hit 20%. You're going to keep 20%. <laughs> you know, that's how them lawyers do it, too. <laughs> so, listen, I support James Wright and everything that he's doing to bring justice. I hope that he sticks it out. I hope that he does go through with it and he doesn't get tired of chasing her because she on the road now talking about, you know what, Bahamas seems real nice. They can extradite you in Bahamas, Krishan, or when you come back to get blue, they're going to lock your ass up anyway. So he getting out, you going in. Tag team, back again. <laughs> Moving on. Y'all better be, listen, who got their tickets? Who got their tickets, okay? Tasha K on stage.com. We just launched our tour site. I know y'all got to get used to me going on tour. Get used to it because next year, by November, we'll have all the dates in November. And y'all will be able to buy four, five, six months in advance, okay? We got Naples, Florida. Y'all make sure y'all get them tickets before they sell out. Atlanta, we're talking about adding another show. The, cl the club already asked me. I'm thinking about it. It's my birthday, and I really want to party. And y'all ain't letting me do that. I got to party with y'all. You know what? This is work. You know that? I got the clock in and come to work just like y'all. Y'all at some of y'all at work right now watching me, okay? Don't want to be at work. I love y'all and I love what I do. And I make great money doing it, okay? But I still got to be like, damn. Bitch, I got to go to work. I have those same problems, okay? Can I call out? Damn, there's a concert on Friday. I can't make it cuz I got to work. It's okay. I love what I do. I love what I do. Everybody, even the, the, they said a person that does absolutely nothing all day will still get tired of that. Okay? Indianapolis, Indiana. Tickets are on sale. Baltimore is coming soon, any day now. So make sure you are on the website, TashaKOnStage.com. Virginia Beach is now live for Mother's Day. Y'all get them tickets for the mothers, okay? We're showing out. Charlotte, North Carolina, we coming through. I may have to add a second show to that one. That one's moving fast, okay? Tampa, Florida, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Raleigh, North Carolina, Orlando, Florida, and we have more cities that are going to be updated in the next couple of days, okay? We're just working out these contracts, and they'll be live. So y'all make sure y'all get they, these tickets because they're smaller venues. They're not big like, you know, my Atlanta show last year or Miami show or what this Houston show is going to be. So make sure you get these tickets before they're gone because I don't know if I'm going to add one or two or three or four shows like these comedians be doing. I don't know because I got the debate. Am I going to work today? You know, am I going to call out? I ain't going to do y'all like that. I, I ain't for the, I, I got to be out on a stretcher. And I can hire a stretcher. I can get a stretcher, rent a stretcher from a, a prop store. <laughs> I'm playing. All right, let's go, let's go. So uh, that's no shade to her. I'm just saying, but, you know, a lot of people come relevant and they start to trend, you know, because I did hear that, that, let me see, is she going through a divorce? You know what, it's divorce season. I couldn't quite get that, but neither here nor there. She's out, she's doing interviews, and she's telling all of her old stories, housewife stories, and before she was a housewife, when her neck wasn't sunken in, go ahead and take a listen. Christina, let's go. So one Valentine's Day, I was 22. I believe. I, we had a mutual friend. He got my number or whatever. He sent me the biggest bouquet of flowers I've ever seen, the biggest box of chocolates I've ever seen, a huge teddy bear, all of his tequila, because he had a tequila brand at the time. I don't know if he still does. And um, I mean, it was like, holy shit. And he, I mean, it was like multiple people like bringing shit into my house kind of a thing. It's like shit you no. see in a movie. Yes. And then he told me he had a TV crush on me and he wanted to take me out. And I just sort of kept like 
poo-pooing it, and then I finally said no. But was there a party that was like, oh my god, this is insane, incredible, like, kind of interesting? Yeah, I mean, there's obviously a part where you're like, whoa, a guy is, like, spoiling the shit out of me. You're like, that's so sweet, and I've never met this guy. Like, oh my, imagine if I was in a relationship with him, like, how sweet it would be at the time, because I was 21. Now, as an adult, I'm like, red fucking flag, and clearly... Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's some love bombing kind of shit. I probably would have done at that age. You know, I would have been... Well, and Pete, he was a big deal at the time. She really put emphasis on those words. Red fucking flag. Love bombing me at 21. I was like, wow, he sent me the biggest bouquet of flowers. I'm like, what was a red flag about that? Nobody knew about you until you said anything. How you know? He probably wanted to treat you right. I ain't never heard of Diddy beating on no white woman. Now. I, ain't, I ain't seen that. You know, they get away with that, the black women, because if Dre got away with it, and he got his own award, Impact Award, for all the impact he put on women's, black women's faces, then Diddy can too. That's why Diddy ain't lost no followers. And he out here right now celebrating the Grammys, and that Grammys party's behind y'all back. Like, nothing happened. Cassie and them same parties, too, with his money. Listen, <clears throat> I'm just trying to figure out, why do we need to know this? How did you dodge a bullet? Now, it, it is, let's just say hypothetically, yeah, he was setting you up to groom you and, and spoil you with things like that. You know, um, what does that have to do with the price of tea in China? He didn't do anything to you. So you're saying for Valentine's Day you received all this, but you're saying you dodged being a beard? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're trying to tell us, Christina Cavallari? You dodged being a pink beard? <laughs> oh my God, love bombing me? And you're gonna ask me to fuck you in your ass? That's what, that's what male prostitutes and stuff down there was doing. Mm hmm. I think he just had Sean John at the time, and you was an inspiring fashion designer. He probably just wanted you, like Kim had Kanye. That's unnecessary. Kanye had Kim. Sorry. Moving on, because I don't, I don't see what this has to do with anything. But okay, all right. Diddy came after her too. Y'all better be careful. So Chris Brown is highly upset, and I don't understand why he's still angry about things. So uh, not only is he, you know, he's heading, I think, what's the name of that festival? I think it's in Atlanta. It's like an R&B, Lovers and Friends Festival. So he's the headliner of that. And I thought it was funny that they even used him because the, the entire lineup is like Z-list celebrities and he's like the A-list. But in Hollywood, he's really like a Z-list celebrity because they don't mess with him. So apparently he's angry. You know, he loves basketball. He loves lean and things like that. But they wouldn't let him play basketball and drink lean at the same time <clears throat> because they were afraid that he was going to probably beat a woman uh, courtside if they yelled at him. So they dropped him. Apparently he had some spaz out. <sighs> he's not invited to the Super Bowl either because of his confrontation with Usher. So he can't go there. He's not allowed to be any in any of the celebrity circles whatsoever. Um, and so he just has to settle down and do festivals with 20 other celebrities and split profits. I was like, why are they doing Chris like that? He don't beat women no more. I mean, I mean, if they if Dr. Dre, and this how I know light skinned people ain't got no privilege no more because Dr. Dre got a whole impact award. I keep stressing this. And Chris, you it, it this proves it depends on who you hit. <laughs> it's, it's proof in the pudding. Because what makes Michelle A like why is Michelle A not, not as valuable as Rihanna? And, and Chris Brown is light-skinned, so he should be automatically protected. But you got a dark-skinned man and dark-skinned woman and other women, even reporters that Dr. Dre has beat up. But Chris Brown beats one woman when he was a child, and they ain't going to forget about that at all. But they forgave R. Kelly for you. They ain't going to forgive Chris. And Chris is tired. He's sick of shit. He's the only one to do is play basketball. Riding skateboard. He only with black women no more. He only be no Asian women unless.
allegedly. <laughs> and y'all gonna stop, y'all gonna stop messing with him. Got him sitting beside Quavo, talking about who's the biggest celebrity. And Quavo out here selling clout dig too with Lana, La, what's her name, Lana Del Rey? We seen him get out the, the car with her wide body ass. Man, man don't move, get me started. I think if, if Dr. Dre can make it, so can Chris. Chris deserves to be forgiven too. What do y'all think? Put the comments up. Let me see. What do y'all think? That wine came down. Oh. Mm. 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 Uh. Okay. I'm going to get Chris Brown up here. I'm serious. You know, he don't really do interviews like that. You know, and I, I, and here's the thing. It's not that I don't like interviewing celebrities. It's just that when you become associated with these celebrities, they want to somehow control the platform, you know? And I ain't with that. And then it's, I tell them from the jump, everything is on the table. What you say is on the record. A lot of them, well, well you know, he's, he's got his concert coming up. He doesn't want any controversy. I don't give a shit to my bring ass over here. Unless it's on the table, we ain't got nothing to talk about. We ain't even pulling up to the table. Besides, it's, it's much more juicier when your mama, your auntie, or your baby mama on the show anyway, because they're going to tell it. They ain't got nothing to sell but your ass. <sighs> Moving on. All right, so um, apparently, okay, now I forgot how Chris Brown is even in this story right here. I think I just have his picture up there just because. But let's just say, we talked about this on TashaKLive.com. Why um, uh, Jacquees and uh, Trey Songz was fighting in Dubai, okay? Apparently it was over a girl. Oh, yeah, Chris Brown used to mess with the girl. That's why. Okay, so apparently this girl got some good, good pussy, right? This girl that they was fighting with in, fighting over in Dubai. And that's why uh, Trey Songz pulled out Jacquees' three broken dreads okay because it was a skinny dress and it was about to fall out anyway okay and i told y'all you just gonna stop wearing dreads and growing dreads because they're gonna start beating your ass like bitches okay they're gonna grab you by your motherfucking head now i don't understand how jacques is even out here trying to fight over thank you jasmine these are the dreads that uh trey songs allegedly pulled out they was gonna fall out anyway we talked about this. TashaKLaw.com. Y'all got to get over there because I'm telling you, I don't want the whole thing. So I just don't believe that Trey Sauce was all the way at fault for taking these dreads out. They was on the way out because they're not thick, okay? They thick at the root. You see the root? The root is the healthy part. That's why it's thick. But when it's skinny like that and them dreads start getting skinny, they're going to, you can wake up and they on the pillow. So, Teddy said he could have pulled them out. <laughs> Listen, so, um, and he mad about that. He's mad about that. I, I'm surprised Trey Songz didn't keep the dreads and go sacrifice him in Haiti with, with Diddy's doctor. <laughs> anyway, um, j now, for him to be out here fighting Trey over a woman, and this woman allegedly slept with Chris as well, too. I say heavy allegedly. All of them rotating. The girl was out there in Dubai, apparently, you know, selling. And, you know, they was all buying. And, you know, Coochie is what do this to them. So Drezzy somehow has entered the chat because Jacquees, and we talked about this on TashKLive.com, it's all the exclusive stuff over there, okay, has been dating Deion Sanders' daughter, Deandra Sanders, okay? And so as they're over there fighting online, you know, Drezzy has been upset because she's like, how the hell I give you everything? Threesomes, pure white, coca I'm fighting big black men for you in Mexico that are trying to take our, our pure white coca -laca. I put my career on the line to ski with you. And so she was just waiting on a moment to strike. Season the moment. 
So why she putting out text messages and tagging Jaquisa's new girlfriend, who is Deion Sanders' daughter, Deandra Sanders, calling her green and all of that. So let me go ahead and read this, okay? So apparently, I guess Jaquees is texting her too. Um, I want you, I don't want her. So this is Jaquees telling Drezzy, and she was like, this your baby daddy? I said, Drezzy is so messy. Where's your album, Everything But Music? You was one of the hottest rappers at one time, but decided to choose illegal substances and strippers. Now he don't spend all the money. He done left you. You ain't got no record deal, no nothing to show for it. And now you want to come at this little innocent girl and drop texts of with no date on them. Because ain't no date on these. You see a date on these texts? Ain't no date on these texts, Drezzy. I think you're just mad. Okay, and she, is she from Chicago? Chicago, y'all, y'all, this what y'all doing? This, this how y'all act, Chicago? You know, your man out here getting his little, his broken, you know, uh, dead dreads pulled out over a woman that you don't care about. I want you. I don't want her. You are my true love, seriously. And I need you to help me. Sex does not define love. And if you're trying to find love in sex, you f everybody. Kids do not define a family. I want you, Drezzy. So is DeAndre pregnant? Oh, God. See, Drezzy, this is why you ain't going to never have no good luck with me. And she was in my deal talking mad shit. So she was going to pull up on me. I've been waiting. I'm going to pull up in Chicago. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get my check in and I'm gonna pull up on you. Cause all that you was talking in my DM. When you got mad when that man came on my platform and said y'all were beating his ass over a bag of co co pure white co coca laca. Okay? Coconut. Um <clears throat> Uh, kids do not define a family. I want you, Drezzy. I told you time after time, we can have a baby. You told me out your mouth, Jacquees. I don't don't ever ask me about a baby again. So, like, what the f? Okay, I'm glad I made the right choice. Oh, all right, uh, Sandra, Chandrea, I will come to you today. I want you telling me this gonna break up, Jacquees. Uh, ain't no us. We been done. What that little girl do to you, Drizzy? It seemed like you just seized the moment when you saw your baby daddy losing a fight, losing hair, getting his hair pulled out like the bitch he is. And now all of a sudden you want to come in. <laughs> Jasmine keep putting up these dress. You want to come in to pull the rest of the hair Jazzy, what has this young lady done to you? She's with child. You didn't want no kids. You didn't want this man. Why are you exposing him? Why you just couldn't hear her behind the scenes? Because you was waiting on your lick back. That's all. That's all that was. She was just waiting on her lick back. But God, you're going to answer for that. Because that little girl ain't did nothing to you. And DeAndre has not said anything. Matter of fact, hold on for a second. She, hold on, she, if she finally responds, she's in her right to respond, she's pregnant, but I wouldn't get this, no energy. Let me pull up these, these, these messages. Hold on for a second. Let me see, some ideas, see me, girl, hold on for a second. You are Deion Sanders' daughter. You don't have to do this. Get a real man, sis, you embarrassing a baby. You got time to get rid of it. It's still a fetus. It's her liking the comments for me. That baby probably gone already. Oh, my God. Delete the fetus. Y'all are hell telling that girl to kill that baby. And y'all get mad when I call Krishan Baby Hills have eyes. Y'all some mean asses. Girl, uh, hold on for a second. Well, maybe she is done, but I just don't like the way Drezzy put it out there. But it was messy for us. We'll still be watching and sipping. Moving on. All right. Who we got next? All right. So Tyrese, I should have brought his ass up here last week, okay? Don't worry. We got a few more minutes before we head over to TashaKLive.com for the Taryn Manning interview that will be premiering at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you have your subscriptions, TashaKLive.com, to see the interview and make sure you have your tickets, okay, to your city. Because we pulling up. TashaKOnStage.com to get your tour tickets. Now, Tyrese out here claiming... Where's the post? Where's it there? 
I can't even read that. I can't read that, Jasmine. Let me try to pull it up on my phone. But he he claims, he says that, you know, um, he wishes that he was brown. He wishes that he was Latino. Lil' Kim's. He's in the spirit of Lil' Kim. So he says, Tyree, sometimes I wish I was born Latino. I mean, the Latin community is grounded in family, loyal entrepreneurs, businessmen, and women literally represent the dream, the grind, the hustle, doing whatever it takes to stick together against all odds. If us as a black culture was more grounded in these integral, magical nuances of us, we would be dominant. I've learned a lot from the Jewish community, sticking together, eating dinner every Friday together. I've learned about the Muslim community throughout all of my travels in the Middle East. <sighs> pay attention pay attention they have a father structure where they honor their fathers in the middle east the thinking and the mentality is that they would much rather have a son over a daughter because they know that there is nothing like the leadership of a father and a man being the head of a household he been in dubai too long okay I have no idea how we lost our way. Can we get anything done and accomplished as a fragmented culture? Insecure, threatened each other, competitive towards our own race, killing ourselves every single day frivolously. The majority of us black men and millions are locked up in prison. Of course we are beyond powerful, influential, and successful. But imagine if we all linked up like other communities have linked, poured and built up on each other instead of moving the fragmented dysfunctional we have what it takes to take over the world we are nothing trying to do it alone please chime in would love to know your thoughts on this now since you asked tyrese i'm gonna tell you my thoughts <laughs> wasn't he the same man that took a uh uh by what, what what's her nationality what is samantha's nationality took her to dubai and introduced us as her uh, introduced him her as his black queen took her to dubai took her to the highest mountain of the world highest building and she jumped off that bitch and left you listen not only that you own a travel agency okay so you get to take your little girlfriend that you got now that you're, it's kind of by default, you know, I, the world dragged me, my, my alleged black queen, Samantha, left me, so this is what a black queen really looks like with a BBL. Listen, um, everything that you're saying regarding the Latino community, true, okay? However, um, you went, it seems that you went everywhere but home. So I don't understand how it is that you have a traveling company and you go and you spend time with the Jews. You go and spend, t uh, uh, spend time with the Middle Easterns. You go and spend time with the Latinas. But you ain't took your bald-headed, anti-black ass over to Africa. And I should have known, because when you introduced Samantha as your black queen, we all said, where? We was looking like, who? Where's the black queen? Where's she standing behind her? Who? Who? Now your black queen is getting six hundred thousand of your uh, 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 dollars of your money and about thirty thousand dollars in child support that you fighting right now as the black man that you are with a non-black wife that you still love. I'm just trying to figure out how is it that you've had time to go everywhere and study everybody else but your damn self, and this goes on in Africa. There's union, there's family, there's no competitiveness. Only we as black Americans don't really have it because we was trained not to have it. By the, you know, the white man, last name that you still have. I don't, mine is Kebby. Tyrese, see, this is when I, I think it's time for you to, to, to pick up the meds again. Or maybe you own them. I don't know. I really don't know. But all of this here, you're trying to educate us, saying that you studied everybody else but yourself and your brothers and sisters. And you haven't at least gone to Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa. You are completely oblivious. Like the black man you were raised to be in a white dominated society here in the United States to be ignorant and dumb and not 
to know his own, to know everybody else but your damn self. And that's why they end up keeping us back like they always do. Because they know you ain't going to go read. Mm-mm. 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 You're just going to go watch, see, and perform like the Bushwick you is. Moving on. All right, we're going to do Drake last. We're going to do this turkey hunt. Look, okay, so listen. I was prepared to go in on the turkey leg hunt, but it's a black business. I go in on the on the character, okay? So this black couple, whether, you know, he started the business or not, they are married, they are one, they are a union, okay? Now, I wholeheartedly believe that if they would have kept their marriage problems in their home, and this goes for both of them, we wouldn't be knowing what's going on out here in your business. So not only is your home in disarray and attacked and destroyed, but so is your successful business. And when, what the hell is her name? Hold on. Hold on, wait a minute, I got a name because we don't we don't spoke in the DM. I talked to her today, okay? And I told her I was gonna take it easy on that ass with Nakia. Because she was in the DM. Oh my God, oh my God. When I dragged her last time, because I'm just trying to figure out why are you as a black business owner out here dragging your husband and you have a business and you have kids and you have bills to pay. Dump the man. Divorce the man. Leave us out of it. Let us get our turkey legs and collard greens, okay? But you don't let your emotions get in the way that you felt that it was cute to take your ass to social media because I wholeheartedly believe that she wants to be a housewife. When they start having businesses and gaining this clout and popularity and putting a relationship in front of us and then when she see the comments that nigga don't want her, you know, well, let me sell him out for a bag or two. And I'm just saying, that's just my opinion. I just think that they do a lot of this because they're hoping to grab the attention of a reality show so that they can move on up, okay? It ain't got nothing to do. They don't care about the kids or nothing. And she was out here talking about he was abusing her, all types of shit, right? And I'm just like, why do we need to know? Handle your business. Press charges, file for divorce, do what you got to do, and serve us our turkey leg. We are tired of black businesses falling apart all because you don't want you. And you don't want him, obviously. It don't start, in it, the end all be all ain't a man. There's plenty out here. Now, when I dragged her, she was like, why would I want to tamper with my business on my way out? This is her. Out of where, since proper journalism would have had you doing your research and understanding who the owner of the business is before you made these comments. And she got upset when I said they both owned it. It doesn't matter who started it. You married him. You decided to join partnership with him, let him run the business. Now, the business is allegedly ran into the ground. She also goes on to say, it's women like you who make it very difficult for women to speak on what really goes behind closed doors. You use your platform to shame, but I guess anything for clicks and views. I pray your daughter, she came with my baby. Oh, shit. I was like, girl, you must don't know. I got thick skin out here, child. Uh, I hope your daughter doesn't run across an abusive man. I could only imagine how you will advise her, okay? And I said, listen, if you felt I offended you, Thanks for reaching out. Let me know what's up. But I said what I said. If he abused you, take the proper steps. Get justice. Get the divorce. Split your business. Move on. But now the employees are watching their bosses. Not only are they watching the bosses, they they exposing y'all for non-payment. You got some of the text messages? Okay. Now it says, good morning. January 23rd, 2024, Turkey Hut. Turkey leg hunt. Good morning. Checks are in. However, ownership is asking that you please allow a day or two before attempting to cash deposit. An update will be provided once they're ready, but it should be no later than close of business on Thursday. Okay? I guess MOD tonight. Go ahead. Put up some more. Now, any answers to why checks are bouncing? I have Chase, so I'm confused on why they're bouncing checks are through Chase. I would appreciate anybody answer. Call and see. I have no idea. It's money in the account. Endorsements. Cancel. Deposited item. Return $158. Deposited item. Return $42. Okay. Any checks from a month ago are not positive. Pay. So we can't even cash them. All right. Let's keep going. 
Okay, so the next uh, text that you're seeing is her, I guess, firing these employees, uh, firing everybody. You got to blow that up, Jasmine. We can't read that. Okay, now, let me read it to you. I hope this message finds you well amidst these challenging times. Uh, it is with a heavy heart that I will write you. What the hell that say? Uh, write to you today. Uh, do it again. Do it again. Stretch it out some more, Jasmine. Stretch it out. That's it? That, damn. Hold on for a second. Let me pull it up on my phone. Okay. Now, uh, not just as the owner, our beloved establishment, but as someone who has deeply valued the dedication and hard work you've brought to our team, the past months have been a period of significant reflection and tough decisions for our company. As I mentioned in our meeting, my personal journey has undergone considerable changes, including a divorce in more ways than one. See, putting your personal business out there again. Just say, we ain't got the money you fired. Okay? Now, it has impacted my life, but... The operational stability of our business, this is combined with the economic challenges we're faced, has led us to reevaluate our current structure and strategy. After much deliberation and consultation with our new management consultants, we've uncovered discrepancies and issues that uh, necessitate, I, I don't know, the substantial changes. It is with a somber understanding of the situation's gravity that we have made the difficult decision to reduce our workforce. And it's regret that I must inform you that your position is uh, one of those affected by this reduction. So basically, she's firing the whole staff, okay? So I hit in the DM, and she's still telling her business, oh, it's my divorce, it's my husband, I don't want him to get half, and so we'd all rather just burn the whole damn house down and the building down and not realize there are employees, there are people that are depending on her as a leader, as a business owner, and if it is your business, it is your job to ensure that these people get paid. So I asked her, I said, hey, Nakia, I just saw the story posted. Is it true? I don't want to report on inaccurate info on the business because you didn't cuss me out last time, said it was inaccurate, okay? Let me know what's going on, and I can update the public. She's going to talk about which story. No motherfucking well. You ain't getting dragged. You got 30,000 followers on Instagram, and you're going to ask me which story? Okay, sure. I said the one of you not paying your employees. Nakia, this is your business. She goes, they have all been paid. They received checks at the beginning of the week, and the remaining checks have been processed, and they will receive them on Friday. Thank you so much for reaching out to get the correct information. I said, okay, great. I did what she asked me to do. She said I... And I'll eat her ass up too. Boy, if you listen to these voice notes, she ain't even respond to the voice notes. I ate her ass up. But she listening now. She listening. Okay? I just want a turkey leg, Nakia. We don't need to hear about your divorce and your business. The whole public, even the customers in the restaurant, told you that he wasn't shit. You still said it, married him, loved him, presented him before your, your business, and now you got to go and separate everything instead of just divorcing him. Now you're burning down the whole house and the business and got to rebuild it. You know how hard it is to build a successful business? And now the people of Houston probably don't want to come work with you. Y'all you here, you're giving Peter Thomas vibes. They done had to put, t I rode past bar one. I didn't see it. I was, you know, I live close to Miami. So, you know, I, sometimes I used to go in there for an oxtail. But when he started shepherding me $50 oxtails with a plastic fork, I said, well, we're not going to do Peter. And then he keeping the tip that I leave for the damn server. Ain't no toilet paper in the bathroom. I ain't never spelled bleach going in there. I said, y'all black businesses got to get it together and keep your business off social media. Run your business. Me and Shake have problems. You're going to hear about it through the divorce court. That's what's going to go down. But I'm going to be up here, hey, guys, Welcome back to Unwind with Tasha K. Y'all gonna be like, he ain't he, he, he ass up in the public in the publications. Oh well. We we listen, we don't address things that's behind us. We go forward. That's what we do. By the time y'all get information anyway, it be old. I already be knowing. And they just weeks later they decide to pull the court docs and put it out. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, and what you want me to answer? None to answer. Get Read the court docs. Get your answers there. I got to work. Obviously, these people want their money, so I got to work. That's the solution, right? That's what they're arguing about, right? Money. So let me get it. <laughs> Everybody need money. Daughter need money. Teddy need money. Jamie need money. Y'all need money. Let me work. Why are you interrupting me working? Why do you want me to stop? 
the train to address shit that happened weeks ago or years ago. <laughs> they black businesses, y'all got to learn to be out here like white people. You just keep going. That's what I do. Keep going. Y'all got these tour tickets? I hope so. Tosh K on stage. We coming to your city. All right. Tosh K on stage.com. Naples, Florida, Atlanta, Indianapolis, Indiana, Baltimore, Virginia Beach on Mother's Day. Okay, Indianapolis, Indiana. Who else did I mention? Orlando, Tampa. ToshKonStage.com. Get these tickets before they sell out because they are small venues. They're not big like how Houston is going to be for uh, Halloween. Now, right after we do this last topic with Drake, we're going to head on over to ToshaKLive.com and we're going to unwind a two and a half hour interview with actress Taryn Manning, okay? She is slamming Hollywood, Terrence Howard, Taraji P. She's talking about her infamous video of when she was in a car and she uploaded that she was eating butt and shit like that. It was a lot going on. Um, drinking gold juice in Hollywood, the Illuminati. There's a lot of stuff that she's addressing. Her drug use that you guys are alleged that she's, she's had. All of that, nothing is off record in this interview, and those are the interviews that I want. Okay, so shout out to Terry Manning, and we're going to release that interview tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on TashaKLive.com. Now, Drake! <laughs> All right, I need the comments up now. I need the comments. Now, who's seen the video? Who's seen the video? Who seen the video? I need to know who seen the video. Please. Come on now, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost 8,000 people in here. Who seen Drake's video that was allegedly leaked by a woman? I think it was a man, because remember, Adam 22, who we sat down with on No Jumper, shout out to Adam 22, told us that Drake, according to him and what he saw, has a missile. To me, who's seen the video? Drake! Who's seen the video? First of all, First of all, as a woman, as a woman, I was heavily, heavily disgusted. I was. I just, to me, I'm going to be honest with you, unless you have no business being on camera and that thing ain't said like this. Hard. Hard. Ready to bust. We're busting guns around here. Light skinned men. This is embarrassing. This is really embarrassing. And see, I see why they're they coming for this man talking talk, talk about he got a BBL, a DDL. I see why. And here's the thing like, and I know. I, I know this when I see one. I've been messing with Africans for years. You done left America. I done sailed by boat, bitch. I'm gone. Listen, ain't no, you can't come back to that. You can't come back from that. Now, I just don't understand how you playing with it and it's soft. There's, and the way it was, it was just long and lanky. It was pink. It looked like an unboiled hot dog. <laughs> the ball set was black, but I know, like I said, a, when I see one, a real one, and let's not play like they ain't out here getting these enhancements. We did a whole interview with a young lady that's being sued right now by 50 Cent because apparently she allegedly used him as advertisements to say that men, especially married men or men in the industry, are coming to her getting DDLs. And to me, I'm like, I don't see a lot of this in my life. That was very disappointing. 
that you sitting up there rubbing it, and no matter what you do, it's just. He can't even. <laughs> he can't even talk to it. You should be able to talk to it and be like, "You ready?" You can't even talk to it. And then he shaves. Because that's a trick that men will use. I like a man that shaved. Don't get me wrong. I like it shaved and clean. I don't want to smell it before you. On your, on your, on your, on your house. I don't want to do that. I want to be able to see if there's any bumps, any residue on the skin. When I get down there, I'm inspecting. I'm looking. I'm pulling up. And that's how I know there was something wrong because his ball sack was tight. It was tight and it was dark. And when it's tight and dark, why is your dick not hard? Because when the ball sack is tight, it's tight because it's ready to bust. It looks like you got to hold it to keep it in. But I was very disappointed in that. He could have kept that shit. We don't want to see that. And, and, and you know what was, more, what was real disturbing about that? Is that it was men. It was white men out here on the internet. It wasn't even women bragging about that. It was white men out here talking about, I told you he had a missile. I told you he had a big dick. I'm calling Drake. Is this your dick? What the fuck? <laughs> Y'all see why I'm in Africa? <laughs> African men ain't going to do that. They ain't going to call another man to ask if this is your dick. What the f Aiden. Aiden, Aiden. See, and that's why they out here taking your money, Aiden Ross. Yes, sir. They out there kicking your ass on kick. Yeah. You out here streaming on kick, getting your ass kicked by these black men because you're too busy staring at their dick instead of watching your pockets. Because a woman ain't staying that long. We don't need to make no phone calls to see what's going on. Could we Let me see the chat. Who want it? Who want it? We saw the BBL scars. Who want it? Huh? So my balls get tight when they cold too. And so do the dick. So do the dick. Drake, I was very disappointed for a light skin. As far as a light, you're a light skin man out here. Anybody gonna leak anything and you gonna brag about it, make sure it's on go. It ain't pink. It's giving it's giving white man. No. You're talking about erectile dysfunction. No. Drake, that wasn't it. At all. Let me see. The best. Have I seen any tapes out here that I'm like, wow. I got to go. There was one. And I hate to even say this. Make sure. She hey, hey, go take Shaq's phone. Go take Shaq's phone. I got Jasmine taking Shaq's phone. Because he ain't going to rewind this back and watch it. So where's he at? I need that phone out of his hand. I seen one. I seen one. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay. All right. We good. We good. So. There was one that I saw, and I felt bad, even though this man is not attractive to me at all. Jasmine, you know who it is? I saw the video, and it's, it's real, and I see why he got all these damn children running around here. <laughs> Nick Cannon. <laughs> seen it. Not in person. No, 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 no. No lies out here. What I'm saying is I can see why these women forget to say pull out. Listen. <laughs> I'm going to put the comments back up. I got to say. It was so when I saw the, the pictures of Nick Cannon Yeah. Yeah, he was a hitter, he a hitter, for real. I would run. I ain't going to lie. Oh, y'all, please, y'all better not send this to him either. I keep a very professional relationship with that man. I don't want him like that, but what I'm saying is if they could just cut the body off, 
and sell the but the sell the, yeah. <laughs> no, my husband ain't gonna let me work with him. He ain't gonna let me work. He gonna be like, oh, what you? Uh, what are you texting Nick for? No, business. He can look at the text messages. Business. But I'm trying to tell you, it is. It was nice, wasn't it? I see you, Mallory Knox. Mallory Knox. It was a good. It's a good size and all. Yes, yes. Somebody said I want to see futures. I'm a, you know what? I know somebody that's seen it. I'm gonna call him. Mm-hmm. I call his baby mama. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> he got he. Nick out here. Nick out here sticking. He out here sticking. I said, wow, wow. You know? Okay. That's the type that has to be shared because that's too much to take. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. Please, guys, I hope that you got your tour tickets. We're coming to your city. Tasha K on stage.com. Tasha K on stage.com. Or you can hit the link tree link that is listed below in the description box as well as in the comments with the moderators. Okay, you can go there and see the cities. You can actually uh, uh, click on the tour and get your tickets now. People are buying like crazy. I'm not even playing with y'all. But I have to tell y'all about it because I'm a salesman. And you got people out here doing videos. Somebody, somebody want to buy, I got to get their money. <laughs> Lucky for me, I love working. I don't love begging, but I love working. I love working for what it is that I got. Also, in every single city, we are running a contest. I need you guys to email me if I'm coming to your city on tour and you want a chance to grace the stage and show off your talent. There is a cash prize involved. Please feel free to email me at unwindwithtashak at gmail.com. We've gotten lots of submissions so far. I still need submissions for Naples, Florida. I still need sus submissions for Atlanta and so on. So make sure in the header when you email me and you want to be a part of the cash, uh, the talent contest and win a cash prize that'll be hosted before I hit the stage in your city, email me at unwindwithtashak at gmail.com. Put the city that you're interested in Put your talent. I don't even really need a demo. Just let me know your talent, you know, and we'll let you know if we uh, will select you to be a part of the contest, okay? We coming to party. What'd you say, Jasmine? I mean, you can give me a demo. Give me a demo. I mean, send me a demo. Shit. Send me a demo, okay? Taddy coming too. And Taddy gonna bring a bitch. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed the show. Are you ready for this Tim Manning interview? I hope so, okay? Like I said, she came, spent two and a half hours. There was nothing off limits. She even told me to shut the fuck up a few times in the interview. <laughs> y'all saying I be talking too much, and so she's like, let me finish. I was like, all right, cool. It's your platform, fine. I don't care. You're here for the winos, not me. Anyway. That's going to be aired tonight on TashaKLive.com at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to advertise, please feel free to hit us at ads at TashaKLive.com. Or you could click the link tree, watch Tasha K, and submit your ad through there. All right? And we'll get right back to you. If you have a story, a tip on your favorite celebrity, please feel free to email me on WhyWithTashaK at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me everywhere, Twitter, Threads, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok is thick. <laughs> we only been on TikTok a year and some change. It's thick already. We're almost like 600,000. I said, damn, Instagram be hating. But I have real followers. I don't have no bots. So everybody's like, why she ain't got a million yet? Because I ain't bought mine. If you go through and look at most, not, not neighborhood talk, not shade room, but all these other ones, they be buying. It's really hard to grow on Instagram, but that's okay because we have a dedicated audience and Despite people having millions, y'all buy tickets and show up. <laughs> you got people with hundred million followers can't get nobody buy no tour tickets. How they do that? Where they do that at? Where they do that at? Sure. Where they, I hope that you enjoy. It. Remember, guys, this is wine, gossip, and comedy. That's what we are taking on tour. That's what we've always done from the beginning: wine, gossip, and comedy. So any of the comedians that I hate, and because I see the comments, I seen the text messages. Somebody done sent me some text messages of some big comedians hating and trying to cancel shows and shit like that. This is wine, gossip, and comedy. We don't do the same show over and over and over again. The same material. Okay, we got our own lane. It's mine, and I'm sticking to it. Thank
Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please feel free to email me again if you want to be a part of the talent contest when we pull up at your city on our tour. Do not forget to go to TashaKOnStage.com to book your tour tickets, okay? They are selling out really fast. I am not lying. Atlanta is almost done, okay? <sighs> Anything else? Head over to TashaKLive.com right now. Terry Manning's interview is going to be premiering at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You do have to subscribe via the website. And with that being said, Teddy said, now I got to go.